for in using the testimonies to bolster up some subject which may impress the mind of the author, the extracts may give a different impression than that which they would were they read in their original connection. And that's why a lot of people think moving to the country is its future, because they read Country Living. It's not written in chronological order. That's why a lot of people think it's okay to eat milk and dairy today in 2010. She said way back in her day, very soon, very soon is not 140 years, I'm sorry. And then there was a time where she said the time had come. So we have to be careful of the compilations. Okay, now last night we talked about flesh eating. Something I forgot to share with you is that an average person eats 225 pounds of meat every year. That's a lot of meat to go into your intestine. 220, you know how much meat that is? Did you guys ever, way back in the day, remember Oprah when she lost all that weight and she put the fat in the wagon and she carried it on the... Back in those days before I was Adventist, I used to watch the Oprah show years, we're talking 20-something years ago. She lost all this weight. 70 pounds of fat was like, like the whole, it, it was just, whew. now imagine 225, triple that. That's how much meat a person consumes a year. Now how many years do people live on average? 60, 70, yes. Now times that, 225 pounds a year, times the amount of years you live. That's what goes into the intestine. <clears throat> okay, one more thing. Last night we talked about how 9 out of 10 would recover if they follow the health principles. Remember we said that 90%? And if they follow what they need to be right. But did you know that we are told in Review and Herald, October 21st, 1844, that 9 tenths, so what is 9 tenths? 90% of the wickedness among the children of today is caused by intemperance in eating and drinking. 90% of the wickedness going on in our country, in our world, is due to intemperance in eating and drinking. They did a study at a few prisons. They put these prisoners, I forgot, it was like Midwest, put them on a 100% plant-based diet. It was almost overnight that the fights decreased by like 80 percent and it was quiet and peaceful. They did the same thing out of school. Um, some schools around the U.S. started implementing a plant-based diet because they wanted to see what it would do. Those kids' scores like tripled and quadrupled. They were getting A's. They were being the top students in, in their state and they were showing that there is a remarkable change and turnaround when you adopt a plant-based diet. I just wanted to share that information with you. Okay, so that's our preliminaries for today. That was quite a bit, but those are things that I left off yesterday. Now, our topic today is, would you like to be made whole? That is the question. Before we get started in Council on Health, this is a quote I'm gonna use every time we do our class. It says, men and women should inform themselves in regard to the philosophy of health. And that's what we're studying, the philosophy of health. This is what we are required to study. The Bible says, if someone can read, can I get a volunteer for somebody to read 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 23? Mabel, Sister Mabel. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 23. Let's see what that tells us. And when everyone gets there, let me hear you say amen. Just so we know we're all there. Okay, amen, I'm there. And the very God of peace sanctify you holy. And I pray God your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. So, 1 Thessalonians 5.23. God talked about the soul the body, the spirit. According to the World Health Organization, 
Does anyone know what the definition of health is? It's the general condition of a person in all aspects. Of a person in all aspects. And guess what they include? They say body, mind, and what do you think the third one is? Spirit. spirit. This is the word they use. Body, mind, and spirit. Kind of sounds like that verse we just read, doesn't it? Very similar. If the mind is affected, the body is diseased. I mean, if the mind is diseased, the body is affected. If the body is diseased, the mind is affected. They're connected, according to 1 Corinthians chapter 12. According to Matthew 9, verse 12, and we don't need to go there, Jesus says, They that be whole need not a what? They don't need a physician. So whole or health, that, in other words, those are who are completely healthy, equals zero physician. So let me ask you a question. Let's say somebody's on blood pressure medication, but their blood pressure is 116 over 75. That's a good blood pressure. Are they healthy? Are they healthy? No, they're not healthy. Why aren't they healthy? Because they're on medication. Very good. They that are whole need not a what? A physician. You may think the person's healthy, but if they're on any type of medication, and here's another thing. We can use the herbs and the vitamins, the same thing. If you have to use minerals, vitamins, superfoods, and I'm not criticizing them because I find myself in this position many times. You are not healthy. Because they that are whole need not a what? A physician. When you're re resorting to that, you didn't go to a doctor to get medicine, but it's almost the same thing. You're masking the symptoms, right? So true health is zero physical ailment, body, mind, and spirit. We are told in Calcis on Dyes and Foods, this is a powerful, powerful, and I'll tell you where it originally comes from so people can read the original context. It comes from Testimonies, Volume 2, pages 40, 486 and 487. What's the page here? This is 398 to 399. 486, 487. It says, when Satan takes possession of the mind, and we're going to be talking about the mind today. When Satan, when Satan takes possession of the mind, how soon the light and instruction that the Lord has graciously given fade away and have no force. How many frame excuses, listen to this, how many frame excuses and make necessities which have no existence to bear them up in their course of wrong in setting aside the light and trampling it underfoot make excuses. I can't exercise because I'm busy or I'm this or, you, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yes, and when, and I've been guilty of this in the past. I think we all have. Yes, but God is asking us to come up higher. I speak with assurance. The greatest objection to health reform is that this people do not live it out. And yet they will gravely say they cannot live the health reform and preserve their strength. If people are telling you that they're weak and they're sickly and they can't, they've tried and it's not working, it's because they're not strictly living it out. What is disease? It's a violation of the laws of health, right? It doesn't matter if it's me, you, her, anyone. It doesn't matter who it is. If we are sick in any way, if we don't have the strength, if we don't have the energy, if we doesn't matter what it is, there is a law of health that we are violating. 
but we are going to be learning over the weeks. I mean, there's details to these laws of health, and as we learn, we're going to assess ourselves. One day, I'm going to bring the whole assessment form. We're going to go through it each day. When we have a class, we'll go through each law of health. And what we do is we take a red pen and we check mark that what we should be doing and we're not, or that what we shouldn't be doing and we are. And when we're done, you go through all the red check marks. And those are the things you have to correct. Once you correct them, guess what happens to the problem? goes away. Now when I assessed myself, I was shocked at how many I was violating, not realizing, because I didn't know. I did not know, sir. I did not know you're supposed to crack all your windows in your house, and there were things I did not know. And there was probably 20 things I was violating. Since I started correcting those, I don't have the weakness, I don't have the congestion problems I used to have. So it is true, we do not benefit because we do not follow it strictly. She says, we find in every sense, such instance a good reason why they cannot live out the health reform. They do not live it out and have never followed it strictly. That's why it doesn't benefit people. Now here's the thing. We are told in Luke 12, 48, too much whom is given, much is what? Required. See, those men I was telling you about, all they did was step out on one law of health and they changed their diet. They weren't doing the exercise. Some of them were, but some of them weren't. They weren't doing the deep breathing and getting the sun and you know what I'm saying? But God blessed their efforts because they did what they knew. James 4, 17 says, To him that knoweth to do good and doeth it not, to him it is sin. Because we have much, much of us require. So we could be following seven laws, but it's not going to benefit us 100% if we're not following all the laws. You get what I'm saying? Is that making sense? Okay. And this is not to criticize anyone. This is just to educate us. This is for educational principles and purposes. And, and we can encourage one another for all of us to come up higher. Okay. Now let's go to Romans 12, verse 2. Somebody, I'll read it. I'll read it. Romans chapter 12, verse 2. It says, And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. I'm going to stop right there. Just We're going to talk about the transformation and the renewing of your mind. Why? Why do we need a renewing of our mind? Because Romans 8, 7 tells us the mind is carnal. And it is enmity against what? God. And it is with the mind that we are to do what? Romans 7, 25. If someone can read that for me. Romans 7, 25. Who has the mind? Oh, I have the mind. I'll read it. Okay, Romans 7, and... Romans 7, 25, brother. I thank God through Jesus Christ our Lord. So then with the mind, I myself serve the law of God. But with the flesh, the law of sin. Okay, so with the mind, we are to do what? Serve the law, serve the law of God. But what is Satan out for more than anything? The mind. And what is he attacking it through? Television. Yes, the five senses. No. Through what we see, maybe, right? And hear. But what about what we eat? Because we learned when I did the physiology of blood health nugget last week that our blood goes to where? The brain. And if the blood is diseased, we're going to have a diseased what? Brain. So don't let anyone fool you and lie to you telling you this health message does not matter. Because it doesn't matter how much truth you have, if you're not living to this life, you are going to be lost. Plain and simple. 